Works of art can amaze our eyes with vivid colors. It can also speak to us. It's what a local artist tries to do with her paintings. Runny Knot shows us how she gives voice to the seemingly voiceless in today's Mailu. The paint, the brush, and the canvas. It's just a free space. Giving voice to Ebony Johnson Wright. I can be expressive, like I can be myself. Finding a piece of herself she wants lost. I stopped art, like I just completely stopped. After losing her fifth grade teacher, who gave her inspiration. After he passed away, that was like, it kind of hurt my heart, and so I just stopped painting. Years later. At the time, she wasn't my mom. She's my mom now. Ebony's now adopted mom would inspire her comeback. She asked me, like, what was my passion? The passion is driving her to paint. I'm working three foot by four foot canvases. Big. All the portraits that I create, it commands your attention. It is why she exaggerates the features. I want you to see them for who they are. Allowing the viewer to take ownership of themselves. I used to get talked about, about having big features, like big noses and big eyes, and so I wanted to like celebrate that. A celebration that blacks haven't always had in the art world. I know how it feels to be like not seen in the way that we should be seen. I want my work to be in places that they weren't like welcomed. She wants her works to not only be seen. I have more to speak about now. But she also wants a message to be heard. The message is basically allowing black people to feel empowered. She saw it at a recent art show. It was unreal to hear the comments and the feedback saying that I was like, I made them feel important. Art gives her a strength. This is a way for me to just like be confident. And a confidence that it can do the same for the world around her. Yes, hopefully, <laughs> yes. Now, Ebony is currently finishing her senior year at the University of Central Missouri. She's majoring in studio art and art education.